Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people do some to their nails. To their hair, not the nails, to the hair. Just that. Um, there's gonna be a lot of bleach involved in today's videos, which is always fun. And it always makes things extra tricky. Both of these girls bleached their hair more than one time in one day. Just adding to the suspense of today's video. There's a lot of things that I'm sure are about to go down. And I'm excited to watch it with you right now. Just us. I don't know, it could be more than one person watching me. Also, maybe a group of people. That makes me nervous, thinking about a group of people watching me. It's not a feeling that I love, but I understand that that's something that may be happening as we speak. But then with that all said, let's watch some people ruin their hair with bleach or um, maybe actually do an amazing job. That's a possibility too. Let's do it. This is one of those shirts today that um, I'm 100% gonna look back on and be like, why did I wear that? <laughs> because I'm already thinking that. So if I'm already thinking it, then it's probably not gonna be good in, in a year. Um, it's gonna be worse, so it's fine. At least I'm doing something. Up first, we have a video by Tia Obed Kurzak. Tia Obed, Obed, Tia Obed, Obed, Kurzak. Tia Obed Kurzak. Her name's Tia, is what it is. And this video is called Bleaching and Dying My Own Hair Three Times in 24 Hours. This emoji, then the grandma emoji, gray slash ash blonde toning. Ooh, my least favorite thing in the world. Gray hair, real natural gray hair, beautiful. Artificial gray hair, ooh. I hate that that became a trend. I hate everything about it. As you can see, I've gotten some um, ashy, subtle highlights done to my hair, but something that's always been on my bucket list is just to bleach it completely. 30 volume, we got powder bleach. We love it. Like an ash blonde color, along with a 20 volume develop coat. I also got this no yellow okay. mask. Oh. Okay like the no yellow shampoo um, just to tone it in between bleaches. So the supplies are good. Um, I don't know these brands. They seem to be not an American brand. So I don't know really exactly what's going on, but I'm sure it'll be fine. She's using the right products. It's looking good and I'm feeling fine. Just applied some coconut oil in order to coat and protect my hair. And I'm just going to section it. So she has coconut oil in her hair, which you guys know how I feel about coconut oil. I feel like it doesn't do shh because bleach, what? It eats away at the what? The coconut oil. So therefore, what? Um, it doesn't really matter if you have anything on your hair prior to coloring. Bleach is just made to like literally f disintegrate hair and take all the pigment out of it. So if you think some coconut oil is about to do anything for your hair, it's not. And if somebody can prove me wrong on that, please do it. I would love to be proved wrong on this. The first section would just be somewhere there. So that's the first section. Oh God, I'm nervous about this. She knows my love language, baby. It's sectioning. It's probably gonna turn out very patchy as well because the sections are a bit thick. If you know it's gonna come out patchy, then why make it patchy? If you know that your sections are too big, why are your sections too big? These are just a few life questions I like to ask myself and ask her. Just wondering if you can give me an answer, it'd be super duper. I know it's gonna turn out patchy because I didn't section it well enough. I'm just gonna use this plastic bag to cover it up and I'll probably wait an hour and then wash it off. I like the choice of 30 volume. I don't like the choice of making it patchy, even though you knew it was gonna happen. There was not enough light around that hair. Please do way smaller sections next time. Really saturate and coat that hair heavily. Like a lot, like I want it dripping in bleach. This is what it looks like after the first bleach, but I'm going to be doing this process again because it hasn't reached the desired level of lightness. Oh. Need two more bleaches. Oh. So I just blow dried my hair and this is what it looks like. It looks like a lion's mane. I'm ready for round two. So apply, uh, I'll do that and show you guys what it looks like. There are actually a few things that I like that are going on right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. She's not doing her roots right now, which is a great choice because why? The heat from the scalp processes the lightener faster. The fact that she's leaving out her roots to do it later on and not now, it's gonna actually result in a more even better look. I'm glad she's doing another round of bleach and not just trying to do it all in one process or expecting it to be done all in one process because that is not what happens. Can you guys do this? I can. <laughs> ADHD is a lot. This is what it looks like. It's all burnt and damaged, but I am going to do it for a third time because there's still bits of yellow and orange left in my hair. So I'm just going to bleach it one more time. I can't believe she's bleaching over those highlights. Three damn times. Those highlights have probably already been bleached in foils to a really light color. So therefore you're then bleaching it again three times. 
I'm scared for your freaking hair, man. What I would need to do in real life to accomplish this goal of hers would be to literally foil every single piece of her hair and make sure I weave out all those really, really light pieces. And that way nothing breaks off. So it'd be a very tedious process. That would be very expensive to be honest with you. Okay, so I just washed my hair and as expected, my hair feels like noodles and they're breaking off. No! <laughs> so this is natural lighting and it looks pretty light. I'll throw in my hair and show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it's so sad. You can just tell it's never gonna dry. Like when hair is super damaged beyond repair, it just grabs onto water like crazy and just doesn't dry. That's... I think what's going on here. So this is the final result. I basically washed and toned and straightened my hair. So I initially used the light ash blonde color and I really wasn't liking the color. It wasn't dark enough. So then I went ahead and purchased the dark ash blonde instead. And then I applied that with developer and this is the result. I quite like the results. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. And I had fun experimenting with my hair and just filming this video. So thank you for watching. I'm glad that you like it. I'm not gonna lie, your before and after kind of look very similar. That was a lot of work to go through to get a similar look that you had before. I'm gonna also say, I still hate gray hair. It's not you. If you're watching, it's not you. You're beautiful. You look lovely. I just hate gray hair. It just seemed to me looks like lifeless. Like no matter who does it. It's like, <gasps> like water. Like I need water. Like it just brings out the damage in blonde hair. Girl, you do you. You look so cute, no matter what. Okay, well, thanks for sharing that, Tia. I appreciate it. I'm sorry that I roasted you a little bit. It's my job though. Let's move on to the next video, shall we? Let's do it. Up next, we have a video by Raven E. And this is called Bleaching My Hair From Box Dye Black to Blonde and Chopping My Hair Off. Hey guys, so for this video, I am taking my long box dyed black hair and turning it into a blonde, kind of ashy blonde with this shadow dark root. I want it to cut enough to where I don't have to use so much bleach and so much product on my hair and that way the time goes by fast. First I'm going to use a color oops tonight. Hopefully that gets me to like an auburn color. And then after that I'm going to rinse it out and bleach tonight. So I like the plan of removing the dye molecules first. Color oops is going to remove all the artificial pigment inside of her hair. I prefer to just go in with the bleach or it really depends on how much color they have in their hair. Say if they use box dye like a ton at home and their hair is like black, I'd probably go with a, a color remover first before the lightener. So I think it's good for her because her hair is really dark and kind of inky looking. It looks like she's a lot of layers of color on her hair. So that worries me a little bit, but I'm glad she's doing the color remover first. I realized why it didn't look like it did anything because um, the alarm that went off wasn't the alarm to rinse it out. It was for a whole nother alarm. So I only had it in my hair for 10, 15 minutes. It looks like it was working and I feel like it's gonna be a lot lighter when it's dry because the hair is two levels lighter when it's dry. Um, So actually it does look like it worked, but you know, you gotta leave it on for um, a lot of time. And I'm pretty sure you have to wash it, I don't know, like three times in the shower or something like that. And then like rinse it for 20 minutes and do all this stuff. So if you don't follow the directions, specifically how they're written, it's not gonna work correctly. I got this and then I just got some disposable gloves from Walmart and then I got this from Sally's and I'm mixing that bleach for my first bleach session with 30 volume developer and then my second and third bleaching I'm doing the bleach powder mixed with 20 volume developer I don't know how you know how many times you're gonna need to bleach your hair but there are easier ways of doing this like foiling every piece of hair but I know that's not that simple to do at home so she's gonna do 30 volume and then 20 volume and 20 volume again it's a lot of times and you just wash your head and you just scrub all the oils off your hair and your scalp so it's gonna probably burn girl that's all the all the developer you're, you're using today that's enough for a f children's head and that liner is blue oh oh wow we got it lighter it is very very orange i'm so happy she didn't do her roots. Honestly, looks kind of decent for what she did and how fast it seemingly she did it. And she didn't do her roots. That way um, she can do it after and they don't process too fast and leave her with hot roots. I'm going to re-bleach my hair with the 20 developer for like 35 minutes. She looks like a supermodel. Like, and I feel like this blonde's gonna be really good for her. After leaving it on for 20 minutes on her ends, she then applied to her roots, which is such a great idea. 
Basically, you're gonna wanna color your roots once your hair gets that yellow stage on the ends because if you start applying your roots at that yellow stage, your roots will pick up twice as fast. By the time this gets to the really, really pale yellow stage, this will be a pale yellow on the roots. This application process is scary though. It's spooky. Second bleaching is done. Wow. I'm obviously not gonna blow dry it. Yo, you can't tell me she doesn't look healthier and glowier with this hair color. Obviously, I'm gonna need another, a third bleach sesh. I'm gonna wait until next week to do that and just do some hair mask and coconut oil treatments for it. I'm really not mad at this by any means. I'm actually quite satisfied with the progress. It, like, it looks really even on camera. What she's doing at home right now is not easy. This is the third bleaching. I've been using the 20 developer, so maybe that's why. And I've only been leaving the bleach on my hair for 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna have to bleach it four times. My hair's in really good shape though. It would be better if you use some bond building ingredient while you're doing this. That's for sure. Like an Olaplex type of thing to save your hair just in case. But it's looking decently healthy still. So it took me like 20 minutes, it seems, to even apply the bleach. I started from here because this was the darkest orange. We have the bleach reapplied again on one side of the head. Let's see the back. <laughs> I'm shocked at how light she's gotten this without it all falling off. I mean, it's starting to look a little mushy. I'm going to spot bleach the areas that are freaking orange. And then I'm gonna leave that on for 20 minutes. Keep checking on it, of course. She's looking so pretty. <laughs> she looks healthier. I want her eyebrows bleached too. Damn, that stubborn orange. Honestly though, you could stop at this point and with a dope <laughs> bomb toner combination you could create the most beautiful blonde you don't need to be like perfectly platinum blonde and white like the first time sometimes when you live with this color and you keep washing it more of those like artificial dye molecules will come out of your hair naturally because you've already like completely opened up the hair fiber and sometimes it needs to just come out on its own okay so this is what came off of my brush oh no we're losing hair. And then this is what came like that I caught. Sis. So I'm just gonna pour this into there four times and dump it in the bowl. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now of course we're toning with T18, which might be okay, cause her hair's like light enough for that. Her hair's at like a level 10. She needs to cut those ends off. So when I went to dye my <sighs> Oh f no. Didn't know of a thing called color bleeding. So when I like did my roots black, I rinsed it out and it all just like went down, obviously my bleached toned, semi-toned hair. I looked down and my hair was a lot darker, wet than it was prior to dyeing my hair black up here. Oh my gosh, so she did a shadow root, shampooed it all together. You can't do that. You gotta like lift up the hair, shampoo the roots first, get it all out, make sure it doesn't touch the ends. It's a whole process. So I did some research on like an icy white platinum toner and I discovered this 10 volume developer. I, ha I heard really good things about this one as well. And then I got these step one and to protein and hydration ion because it was too dark. So I just did like a little baby light and what I'm gonna tone first is the front of my hair and then I'm gonna work my way to the back of my hair because this needs more toning. Y'all end up spending more money trying to do your own hair than you would at the salon or at least at 200 and something dollars for all this stuff you bought. Like this is a lot. Oh my God, it smells good. My hair is pretty thick. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on my hair until it dries and then I'm gonna do the step two mask. As you can see, there are some warm tones in my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and tone my hair, well not tone it, but I'm going to do an orange shampoo today. Hopefully it'll get rid of this brass. The haircut looks so good. Although it did get a lot of those like warm tones out, the most stubborn part of my hair is right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this in a few days. See what happens to my hair. Like, I just want it to be a little bit more lighter. So that's the finished result. That's what she stops with. And holy crap, I am very impressed. And wow, does she look amazing. I don't know how she got it this light at home by herself and did the kind of a really cute shadow root that looks kind of amazing. She definitely got some damage and she had to cut her hair off, but I think it was good for her. I think she needed that length cut off. I think it looks so much better at this length. I'm sorry, she looks like a supermodel now and I'm obsessed. Brad likes everybody blonde. It's true. Everybody should go blonde. Really great job. And just like that, we saw two 
bad jobs that were decent. At least they kind of knew what they were doing. I feel like people are getting a little more educated about how to bleach their hair at home. I was quite blown away. It's a lot of bleachings and a lot of times in one day, it's scary. If you guys aren't already subscribed to me, make sure you do if you want to. I mean, you don't really have to, but yeah, it's right down below. Make sure you press the like button if you enjoyed the video and also the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You guys can follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Boom, 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 boom. If you guys wanna shop some hair color made by me, my own brand, X Mondo Color, you can write down below. I also have hair care products if you want those too. I have some amazing going on. You can also check us out on X Mondo Hair on Instagram and X Mondo Color on Instagram to see what we have going on. If you guys would like to stay up to date with me better, you can text my number right below. Yes, it is connected to my phone. Yes, I do see all your messages and yes, I will be replying back to a few of you if you text me right now. It'll also notify you every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Michaela. She says, hi Brad, I was wondering if you had any hair color suggestions for me. It's hard having curly hair, but I want a natural color change. Do you have any suggestions? She doesn't want to add a full thing. Yeah, I mean, bro, your hair is so freaking pretty. If you just want a subtle change, definitely do some balayage pieces. Get a person who does the curly hair well and colors curly hair all the time. Look on Instagram. Just get them to dye some pieces of those curls. Get some dimension in there. It'll make your hair look fuller, bigger, and curlier, and all around just sexier. So that's definitely an option. Do that. I would love to see a picture if you end up doing it. And good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.